Hey there, welcome to the Walton Tuning Series. In this first video, we are going to examine using your tuner app and the science behind tuning. Science. The first thing we have to realize is that an A is not just an A. An A could be slightly different. Think of it as colors. Colors can be slightly different. Like one red can be a slightly different shade from another red. I think we should paint our office. Huh. Okay, good idea. What color do you want to paint it? Blue. Okay, well that's easy. Let's do it. Okay, here we go. Blue. No, too light. Um, okay. Blue. No, too purple. Peaceful River. How about that? No, not not right. All right. Pass the end of blue. No, too green. I, I I'm not sure. I didn't realize that you were going to be so picky. How about this? That's it. That's Raider Blue. Miss Grimes was right to be picky about which shade of blue she wanted. On the screen. I have a color wheel and it's in Microsoft PowerPoint where you get to select the color of whatever font you want to use. And the question as I'm looking at this is where does say green end and where does blue begin? Where does blue end and red begin? It turns out we can actually measure colors and decide exactly what shade of blue something is by these measurements. This is physics. Science. So the question is, what is an A? An A can be many different things, little slight variations. We say that A is A441. And what does that mean? That means on a violin or a viola, the string is going to vibrate 441 times in a second. So this is what that sounds like. But it doesn't have to be 441. It could be 440. 441, that's what we're going with. If you go back in time to 1725, A used to be significantly lower. As a matter of fact, what they thought A was, was sound a lot more like a G sharp today. We're fortunate in our cluster over at Dickerson Middle School to have a Baroque music expert. Mr. Jacob Batinas is going to talk about A equals 415. It can even be as low as 415. I bet you're wondering why we have chosen A441. Well, the answer is simple. I think it sounds the best, and it's also what the Atlanta Symphony tunes to. And in case you're wondering, I'm pretty much a huge Atlanta Symphony fanboy. So go to the App Store if you're an Apple person, or go to Google Play if you're an Android person, and download Sound Corset. If you have another app, that's fine. Just make sure that you can calibrate it, that is, change it from A440 to 441. You may even have an old tuner laying around. Those work great as well. Let's get it calibrated so that you can start tuning your instrument. Before we begin, we must make sure that we have calibrated our tuner. That is, that we have picked the exact shade of A that we want. Your tuner will say 440 in the upper left-hand corner where mine says 41. Just tap on it. 
what you are going to do is then you'll see a dialog box. All you do is hit the plus and it'll bump up to 441. So what is a cent? A cent is a musical measurement. Just like this penny is one hundredth of a dollar, a musical cent is one hundredth of a half step. That means there's two hundred cents in a whole step. That means, once again, if there are a hundred cents in a half step, if you were 50 cents off, you would be right in between two half steps. It would neither be an A or an A sharp, so to speak. What you don't realize is that we've been trying to develop your pitch ever since you were in middle school. Do you remember back when you were a sixth grader and you first started your instrument? Back when you had Miss Hardy, Miss Cully, Mr. Bettinas, Miss Loftel, Miss Lewis? Well, back then, here was the tuning process. You knew your instrument needed to be tuned, so you just handed it to somebody and they plucked a couple of strings and said, here you go. Question, looking back, do you really think it was perfectly in tune? It wasn't, but it was close because that's all we needed in sixth grade. That was sixth grade tuning. By eighth grade, when you are playing, you're a little bit better and your teachers are telling you that you're out of tune and they work harder making sure you're in tune. They actually use a bow while they're tuning you. Then you come to Walton and you think you know what tuning is and Miss Grimes looks at you and she says, nope, that's not in tune. And you're like, wait a second, I was in tune last year. Well, again, that's because tuning constantly has to evolve our standards. You know, here, roughly speaking, if you're within 10 cents of in tune, that's okay. But Miss Grimes looks at you and says, you are going to get within five cents and she's going to give you a test and you're going to have to do it. And you kind of figure that out. As you progress to the Walton program, you end up maybe in chamber orchestra. We're trying to play within three cents. So the standard is even, even, even tougher. Finally, you're a professional musician in tune is in tune and it's very exact. So what I'm trying to say is we get closer and closer to asking for being in tune as time goes on. So in conclusion, as your playing ability improves, so does your ability to hear pitch. And as those things take place, you're capable of playing more in tune. So we are going to begin to ask more and more of you and continue to develop this thing called intonation. From a scientific standpoint, two pitches or instruments are considered to be in tune when their waves line up. Look at this example right here. The peaks and valleys of these sound waves line up exactly. So we could say that two violinists whose A strings are both vibrating 441 times a second are perfectly in tune. Conversely, you can see that these waves do not line up, so they would be considered out of tune. It might be like one violinist is playing with an A that's vibrating 441 times a second and the other one 437. Science! This is what a one cent difference in pitch sounds like. This is what a 10 cent difference in pitch sounds like. This is what a 25 cent difference in pitch sounds like. Yuck. So in conclusion, you now have an app on your phone. And guess what? You know how to calibrate it, and you know what musical scents are. That's what you need to know so that you can tune your instrument. I hope this video was helpful. Let's get tuned.
Thank you.